This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learn something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Sometimes we need protection from ourselves because we do silly things, and sometimes we need protection from others because other people don't quite understand what we've created. So let's look at how you can protect both your worksheets and your workbooks so that changes don't happen when you don't want them to. For instance, look at this spreadsheet. This commission has quite a lengthy, whew, I spent a lot of time creating that calculation, and it's a lengthy calculation, and I don't want someone to accidentally come in here and do this. Oops, they just totally changed my calculation to a number. Wow, no, hit undo. So what you may want to do is put, put some protection out there so that you can control what happens within your spreadsheet. So we have this feature called Protect Sheet, and it's on the Review ribbon. You click on the Review tab to get the Review ribbon, and here we have Protect Sheet. It prevents unwanted changes. So we're going to go ahead and click, and it says, well, Protect the worksheet and the contents, check this out, of locked cells. Well, before we go any further, we have to figure out what these locked cells are. So let me click on Cancel and show you about locked cells. Now, I'm staying with my cell here, D5, that same one that I had selected. I'm going to go to the Home tab, and this is in the Format Font dialog box, or Format Cells, excuse me. It's along with the Format Font, and it's the last tab called protection. And you see, by default, every cell on the Excel spreadsheet is locked. And folks, I don't think this particular sheet tab has changed since the very beginning of Excel. It's always looked exactly like this. So it tells you, locking cells or hiding formula has no effect until you protect the worksheet. And that's found on the Review tab, the Changes group, Protect Sheet button, which is where we just were. So what you want to do is you want to go through your spreadsheet and lock those cells, leave them locked, the ones you do not want people to change, and then unlock the cells that you're willing to have people change. So let me click on Cancel here. And I definitely want those commission cells locked, but I do want people to be able to go in here. Actually, I don't want them to change my calculation. I just want them to be able to go in and change the sales figures because I want to be able to use this spreadsheet every year, always. So let me set this up. So these are the cells that I am willing to allow people to type in. And we might get new salespeople, so I definitely want to allow them to be able to change the names. And we might change this information over here on how we calculate. So those are the cells that I am willing to have people change. So I want to unlock those. I'll go back to alignment choose protection, and I will turn off the lock. Now, I didn't mention hidden, but what hidden does is it hides the calculation so they can't actually see how you came up with the answer. So you can't see the formula is what you can't see, but I'm fine with that. So I'll simply say, OK. Now, nothing changes on this spreadsheet except that the cells that I selected here, I unlocked, and now I've made it available for people to type in these particular cells. So make any changes in here you want. For instance, I realized I changed this to commission and forgot to change this sheet. So I'm a lot happier with that. And remember, save often or be sorry, right? So save often so you're not sorry. Now what we want to do is go back where we came from, back to data and back into the area where you can go into the Oh, excuse me, I said data, but I meant review. My apologies. Back to review and back into the area where you can do the changes and click on Protect Sheet. Protect Worksheet and Contents of Locked Cells. Now, if you want a password, all right, I've typed in a password. What will you allow users to do? I will allow them to select locked cells, and I will allow them to select unlocked cells. Anything else on here that you want them to be able to do, you have to allow. For instance, I'll allow people to insert columns and insert rows. No formatting, no deleting, and again, you can work your way through here. And then I'll say, OK. Now I have to re-enter my password to make sure I don't make a typo there. And so now what I've done, I have protected this sheet from myself and from others. So let's see, can I change the sales? 
Sure, I can change the sales, but can I change the commission? Uh, no, I cannot change the commission because the commission says, no, it is protected. And so I'll say, okay. And I will say, well, you know, I don't want to change those sales anyway. So I want to undo that. Can I change this word? Mm, no. But if I get a different sales rep, if Juan comes in as my sales rep, yes, I am able to change that. Now, what about column A? I realize, yeah, I don't like that there. It doesn't need to be there. So I'm going to right click on column A and nope, I'm not able to delete column A because remember I said I can insert, but I cannot delete. Let's see if I can delete anything that I insert. Mm, no, I can insert, but I cannot delete. So if you change your mind about your preferences, you simply click on unprotect sheet. And because I password protected it, I have to know the password to turn it off. So now it's no longer protected. I can go in here and I can delete those columns. And then I would go back and say, protect my sheet. Turn on, turn off the things you want. I don't want people to be able to insert either. And I'm not going to worry about password protecting it. Well, do I want to password protect it? If it's only me that I'm saving myself from, I'm not going to password protect this sheet because I know I'll go in and unprotect when I want to make changes that I've protected, so on and so forth. But if you allow other users to go in and unprotect the sheet, what changes might they make? So that's what you have to think about is who will be using this spreadsheet and who are you protecting it from? Are you protecting it from your accidental errors and other people's accidental errors? So you can decide. I'm going to go ahead and leave it not password protected and say OK. So now my sheet is password protected and I, or excuse me, it's not password protected, it is protected and I'm very happy about that. Well, I also left my sheet tab in here with the wrong name. So notice right here I can double click on my sheet tab and I can change my sheet tab to name because that's part of the workbook. So this word should really say protection. Well, what happens if I protect the workbook? Will I be able to do things like that? So let's click on protect workbook and see what I get. I have, it will protect the structure. Okay, I'll say okay to that. I did not password protect it, but you know I could. And let's see what things are protected. So can I add sheet tabs? New, sh no, I cannot add a new sheet tab. Can I right click? I can right click and I can view the code and I can unprotect the sheet, but I can't do anything else. So no, I would no longer be able to rename. When I try to double click, it says it's protected and I cannot change it. So what you're going to discover is the things that you can and cannot change. I can't resize columns any longer, nor can I resize rows. Let's see if I can change the font. Let's see, can I change the font? Can I change? I can. Did that change it? Let's try to change the size. Nope, I can't change the font. It looked like I could, but it didn't. So what, what I've done now is I've really locked it down. So remember, when you want to turn that off, just go back to the review ribbon, unprotect your sheet, unprotect your workbook, and or protect your workbook, and then that way you can control what's happening inside of your spreadsheets so that your protection is at the sheet level or your protection is at the workbook level. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.